Good morning, Bears. Welcome to this week's edition of the WBBN News. I'm Shonen. And I'm Keeson. We have a lot going on, so please listen up to the following announcements. The National Honor Society will be collecting the following items for the Space Coast Thanksgiving Basket Brigade next week from November 8th through the 12th. Bring your donations to the patio across from the Bear before school or any time to room 636 and you'll be entered into a drawing for a $25 Amazon gift card. All seniors, please mark, please mark November 19th on your calendar for class picture and meeting. The meeting will start with your class pictures at 8.30 in the theater. Please don't be late. Plan to be in the theater from 8.30 to 10.30 for this event. Any student interested in learning more about auditioning for the theater program Spring Musical, Rogers and Hammerstein Cinderella, please come to the theater classroom on Friday, November 12th after school for an informational meeting. Seniors, it's time to vote for your class song, Flowers and Motto. Log on to the Class of 2022 Google Classroom to cast your vote. We'll be right back after this. Over the years, WBBN has recognized many outstanding faculty members here at Bayside. Today's teacher spotlight is no exception. In fact, she goes above and beyond. Today's spotlight shines on no other than Jennifer Emmel. Mrs. Emmel discovered her passion for guiding and helping kids when she joined the teaching environment 22 years ago. She joined the staff at Bayside in 2000 as a science teacher. Mrs. Emmel had a desire to have even more of an impact on her students. She went back to school and earned her master's degree, and in 2013, she joined our guidance department. It's obvious that Mrs. Emmel loves her job. Her favorite part of being a school counselor is interacting with kids and helping them succeed. She finds guiding kids with decisions about their courses and how to plan for their future very rewarding. There is a lot of responsibilities that come with your position. The hardest part of her job is giving students and parents bad news. As the head of the guidance department, Mrs. Emmel gets to interact with many of Bayside students. This is one of the best parts of her job. Hi, my favorite part of being a counselor is watching my students become successful, choose career plans and life goals and following those through. That has to be one of the most rewarding things of this job. Mrs. Emmel also has an impact on Bayside students outside of the classroom. For the last six years, she has been an essential part of Bayside's cross-country and track program. Mrs. Emmel's main goal in coaching is to help her runners achieve their best personal record. She enjoys watching runners achieve what they thought was impossible. She encourages her athletes to be proud of their accomplishments. It doesn't matter how fast or slow they are. As long as they cross the finish line, they can say they did their best. It's a privilege to have you part of our staff, Mrs. Emmel. Your impact on Bayside students has been monumental. This is Evan Wilkie reporting for the WBBN. And we're back. Listen up, Bears. If you are interested in playing tennis, there will be an informational meeting on Wednesday, November 17th at 345 in room 748. If you are unable to attend this meeting, please email Coach Ruverall at ruverall.laura at brevardschools.org. This past Saturday, our marching bears performed at the Florida Bandmasters Association MPA. Their Day at the Dead Field show was honored with the highest possible rating from all six judges, and they earned the straight superior ratings for the sixth year in a row which is a streak that only two other marching bands in our district can claim. Congratulations, marching bears. Seniors, you can now purchase a parking spot that you can personalize and paint. If you are interested, you need to see Miss Fleming in room 714 to, res to reserve a spot and pick up a packet. Designs must be submitted for approval by December 1st. Spots will now only cost $10 and seniors must supply their own paint. Painting will take place December 10th immediately after school until 5 o'clock and also December 11th, 9 through 12 p.m. We would like to wish good luck to several of Bayside athletes who have advanced to the next level of competition. 
Caleb Maruzella will be running in the cross country regional finals on Saturday. Today, Hunter Allen will compete at the state championships with the chance to earn a ribbon as one of the eight fastest two-way swimmers in Florida. That wraps up this week's edition of WBBN News. Make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at BaysideWBBN. Have a great weekend, Bears.